Hello guys. So today we are going to discuss about the interview question. Uh, so what is exactly stateful and stateless in the batch picks? That is the question. This question is most asked uh, in recent interview. Uh, I'm actually making this video on 1st of March 2025 and uh, today I'll explain in this video what is exactly stateful means database dot stateful and what is exactly database dot stateless in the batch epic so let's move to my screen basically as you can see this is the batch class which i have implemented so i'll have one scenario i'll just uh, get all the accounts from my uh, salesforce system and just uh, just update uh, all the account with uh, with the space with the name uh, with the um, by adding the space into their name okay so that will be uh, the today's task so we will perform it by using the batch epic so this is the batch class right i implement database dot batchable uh, as object into it right i'll do one thing in the start method uh, i will write uh, a query to fetch all account so select id name billing city then uh, fax phone from account right and uh, I'll, I'll use the same query into query editor also right to check how many accounts i have so i have 49 accounts right so these 49 accounts are the bulk data. I will divide this data into uh, 10, 10 accounts batch size means five batch will run, right? And uh, I'll, I'll see how this can be do by using simple batch epics. By the way, by default, the batch class is stateless, right? And we have to understand what is exactly stateful. Okay, so start method will pull the data and divide the data into batches execute method will do post processing uh, or data processing operation right so for that right means start method will pull the data from this query and give each batch to this list of account so for i'll use for loop to get each account from this each batch for account each account from all from each batch from each batch i'll do uh, i'll i have to just add each account's name with the space right so each account dot name equal to each account plus plus space okay perfect and finally i will update each account as we all know right we we don't I mean salesforce don't recommend to write the dml inside the for loop so what we will do we will collect this each account with updated space into one particular list and then after for loop ends automatically we will update that list so i'll create a list of account list of account right uh, I'll name it as account with space equal to new list of account. Perfect. And this each account I'll add into account with spaces, right? How I am going to add list dot add element. This is the syntax to add elements into list. I have. Uh, I want to add this updated element that is each account, right? In which list account with spaces, right? So account with spaces dot add each account. All the account automatically get collected into this collection list variable, right? And after the loop ends, I'll just update account with space. Perfect, save. Right. Finally, the account will get updated and then I'll do in the finish operation system dot debug, right? <clears throat> debug all accounts are updated. 
Okay, I'll just pass one max list. Now, as I told you, right, by default, the batch class is test list, right? That means, right, uh, no retention will be counted, right? So, uh, to explore that, what we will do, we will first make it stateful. How we are going to make it stateful by using database dot stateful interface. Okay, perfect. Database dot stateful interface. Perfect. Now this this particular batch class becomes a stateful, right? Now we will define one variable, right? Integer count count account progress. Okay, perfect. Now this is the class variable. Class variable means throughout every every particular method I can call it. I do one thing, right? I know that, right? All the batches are collected into each batch and then we are doing parallel activity on each batch. I just wanted to add the size of each batch into this particular variable, right? What I will do? I'll simply write down the logic to just hold the size, right? By default, the value for this, I'll make zero, right? Perfect count account progress equal to right or plus equal to each batch size each batch dot size means right first we uh, means we will get a batches into each batch and we are adding the size right whatever the batch uh, batch size is into this count account progress right and at the end, after executing every batch, system dot debug, right? I'm writing here the size or total account progress equal to plus count account progress. Save, 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 save. I'm saving now. I will execute this batch class. How I am executing it? I will create first object of the class, right? And then database dot execute batch, right? I'll pass object here and comma the size of batch. I'll mention the size of batch ten, right? Because I have a less data, right? I know that by default batch size is two hundred, but I want to make here ten, okay? So how many accounts we have? 49. How many batches we are, uh, batches will execute this 49 account? Let's say five batches, right? We should get here 59, right? Because uh, the retention will be counted in by using this database dot stateful, right? Let me just execute highlighted. Perfect. Let me open. If you can see the total account progress equal to 49. But right, if we remove this database dot state pool and try to save and then execute the same program, what we will get? Let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Let's open the log we are getting total account progress equal to zero. Why? Because stateful is not returning or retaining the uh, the size of batch, right? Sorry, stateless is not returning the size of batch. Stateful is returning the size of batch. So this is the database dot stateful and stateless. I hope uh, means in the next interview, you will all be answer, uh, you will all be able to answer the question. Thank you.